New reaction after this controversial foul on Caitlin Clark. Unnecessary. Clark's Indiana Fever taking on the Chicago Sky on Saturday. You won't believe what just happened. Caitlin Clark took down a coach in a fiery confrontation, and the aftermath left everyone stunned. What follows is truly shocking. Hitting a shot, then heading over to Clark and shoulder checking her. The refs called it a common foul, but the league yesterday upgraded the call to a flagrant foul. So think of it like this. It's a heated game between the Indiana Fever and the Chicago Sky. Everything seems to be going as usual until Chennedy Carter decides to make a bold move. Out of nowhere, Carter throws a blatant hip check at Caitlin Clark. And we're not talking a little nudge. This was a full-on shove that sent Clark sprawling to the ground. The crowd gasped, the commentators were stunned, and everyone watching knew this was a big deal. You could almost feel the tension through the TV screen. Carter's foul was so obvious that everyone expected immediate action. But here's where it gets even more infuriating. The referees didn't call it as a flagrant foul on the spot. Can you believe that? We're drawing a little bit back and forth the last few possessions. The two were seen before the play, exchanging words at the other end of the court. Carter refused to answer questions about the foul after the game. As you might expect, the fans were livid. Social media blew up with people expressing their outrage. Twitter was flooded with comments from fans and former players alike, all defending Clark and condemning Carter's actions. Hashtags like hash justice for Caitlin and hash protect Clark started trending. It was clear that the public wasn't going to let this slide without a fight. You had NBA and but NBA veterans jumping in to support Clark too. It was like everyone was rallying around her, demanding justice. The incident not only stirred up anger, but also brought attention to how important it is to protect star players like Caitlyn. The fact that the referees didn't call a flagrant foul right then and there was a massive oversight. People were questioning how such a blatant foul could go unpunished during the game. It made everyone wonder if the league was doing enough to protect its players. I think at this point, like I know I'm going to take a couple hard shots a game. After the game, there was a lot of noise about this. And eventually, the league decided to retroactively upgrade Carter's foul to a flagrant one. But honestly, that felt like too little, too late. By then, the damage was done. Caitlin Clark had already taken the hit, and the initial lack of action spoke volumes about the league's stance on player safety. The basketball community did not hold back. NBA and WNBA veterans quickly jumped to Caitlin Clark's defense. These seasoned players know what it's like to be targeted on the court, and they weren't going to stand by silently. They voiced their support for Caitlin, condemning the foul and calling for better protection of star players. It was heartening to see such a unified stance, with tweets and interviews highlighting Clark's talent and resilience. That was a non-basketball play that happened. Many online criticized the foul, tennis great Martina Navratilova saying, this is not okay. Some comparing it to this hit on rookie Angel Reese from Melissa Thomas, which got Thomas ejected from the game. Others say tough hits are just part of the game. Caitlin is grown and in a grown woman's league. She'll be all right, said one observer. Then we have Angel McCautry. Now she took things a step further. Not only did she speak up, but she also offered to come out of retirement to defend Caitlin. Imagine that, a retired five-time WNBA All-Star willing to suit up just to have Clark's back. McCautry's exact words were, I don't care who it is. If somebody's dragging your player down by the neck, I'm in your face. That's some serious commitment and a testament to the respect Caitlin commands. Former players and analysts were quick to weigh in as well. A lot of the criticism was directed at Clark's teammates for not stepping up during the incident. People couldn't believe that no one from the fever rushed to her aid immediately after the foul. The consensus was clear. Caitlin deserves better support from her team. It was a rough night for Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever. Last night, she only scored three points and a blowout loss to the New York Liberty. But it was a game on Saturday between the Fever and the Chicago Sky. Kelsey Mitchell, one of the leaders of the Indiana Fever, didn't shy away from addressing these criticisms. In a recent practice, she emphasized that it's the team's responsibility to ensure Caitlin feels safe and supported. 
both mentally and physically. Mitchell said, At the end of the day, not only is she human, but she's a 22-year-old kid. It's our job as a team to make sure she's covered. She assured fans that they are committed to protecting Caitlyn, moving forward, and making her feel at home. Commissioner Adam Silver didn't shy away from addressing the incident. He referred to the flagrant foul on Caitlin Clark as a welcome to the league moment. Now, if you're scratching your head at that, you're not alone. Silver meant that such rough plays are part of the game and serve as a rite of passage for new players. He acknowledged that while these moments can be tough, they also contribute to the competitive nature of the sport. It's a bit of a double-edged sword. On one hand, it's a reality check for rookies, but on the other, it highlights the need for better protection. Silver also emphasized the importance of rivalries in sports. He pointed out that the intense interest in Clark and her interactions with other players, like Angel Reese, is actually good for the game. Rivalries draw attention, spark debates, and ultimately grow the fan base. However, he was clear that while rivalries are exciting, the league must ensure they don't cross the line into unsafe play. Silver's remarks were a mix of recognizing the competitive spirit, while also hinting at the need for balanced enforcement of the rules. Now, let's talk about Indiana rep. Jim Banks, who took a much more serious stance. Banks was deeply concerned about player safety and league accountability. He sent a letter to the WNBA commissioner, Kathy Engelbert, demanding answers and action. Banks praised the increased fan interest in women's basketball, largely thanks to Caitlin Clark. But he didn't mince words about the league's shortcomings in protecting its players. It's nothing more than a common foul beyond that. Shortly before that moment, what appears to be an exchange of words between the two on the other end of the court. Her and Carter were jawing a little bit back and forth the last few possessions. In his letter, Banks laid out several pointed questions. He wanted to know what specific steps the WNBA is taking to curb excessive physical targeting of players like Clark. He questioned whether teams would be held accountable for allowing players with histories of violent behavior to continue playing without repercussions. Banks also raised a crucial point about the league's overall success. He asked if allowing star players to be physically targeted diminishes the sport's appeal and sets a bad example for young athletes. Banks's concerns reflect a broader worry that the league's current approach might not be enough to protect its most valuable assets the players. His letter is a call to action for the WNBA to tighten its rules and ensure that stars like Caitlin Clark can shine without fear of injury. When asked about the flagrant foul by Chennedy Carter, Clark remained remarkably composed. Instead of dwelling on the negative, she focused on her resilience and commitment to the game. She mentioned that she's come to expect some physical play and hard fouls as part of her transition to the WNBA. I think at this point, I know I'm going to take a couple of hard shots a game, and that's what it is," she said. It's clear that Caitlin is mentally prepared for the rougher aspects of professional basketball, showing a maturity beyond her years. Just respond, come down, let your play do the talking, you know, it, it is what it is, I guess, I don't know. Clark also talked about the importance of staying composed during these intense moments. She emphasized that retaliating usually only makes things worse and often results in penalties for the person who reacts. I'm trying not to let it bother me and just stay in the game and stay in what's important," she explained. This attitude not only helps her keep her cool, but also sets a great example for her teammates and fans. The incident has undoubtedly impacted Clark's mental and physical preparation. She's had to make some adjustments to ensure she's ready to face similar challenges in future games. Her focus has shifted to improving her strength and conditioning to better handle the physicality of the WNBA. Additionally, she's been working closely with the team's coaches and trainers to develop strategies that can help protect her on the court without compromising her aggressive style of play. Support from her team has been crucial during this time. Initially, there was some criticism about her teammates' lack of immediate reaction to the foul. However, the team has since rallied around her. Kelsey Mitchell, one of the team leaders, publicly committed to ensuring that Clark feels both mentally and physically safe.
It's our job as a team to make sure that she's covered, Mitchell stated, highlighting the collective responsibility of the team to support their star player. Caitlin Clark's presence in the WNBA is a game changer. She's not just another talented player, she's a phenomenon. Her ability to draw fans and generate excitement is reminiscent of past WNBA stars like Lisa Leslie and Diana Taurasi. These players were trailblazers who elevated the league's profile, but Caitlin is taking it to the next level. With her impressive skills and charismatic personality, she's attracting a new wave of fans, including those who might not have followed women's basketball before. The buzz around Caitlin isn't just about her performance on the court. Her massive endorsement deal with Nike, worth $28 million, highlights her marketability and influence. This kind of attention brings more visibility to the league, encouraging media coverage and fan engagement. It's clear that she's becoming the face of the WNBA, much like how Michael Jordan revolutionized the NBA. The expectations are high, but Caitlyn seems more than capable of meeting them. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.